In this paper, we present a multi-grid method for efficiently training video models. This was a collaboration between UT Austin and Facebook AI Research. Video model training is computationally expensive, often more than 10 times more expensive than training an image model. What we propose here is a method called multi-grid training that trains video models 3 to 6 times faster without losing accuracy. Why is this possible? First, with the modern 3D CNN video model design, the temporal components typically only use a small amount of extra parameters compared to an image model. This suggests opportunities to use also just a small amount of extra computations to train such a model. Second, Visual contents are redundant. If we compare training on a smaller clip and training on a larger clip, the training cost scales proportionally with the size of the clip. However, the amount of information in the clip doesn't scale proportionally with the clip size. This suggests that we may be able to leverage clips of a smaller size to train a video model more efficiently. With the standard video model training method, it's difficult to leverage these properties for fast training because it assumes a fixed batch shape throughout the training process. Furthermore, assuming a fixed batch shape for training results in a trade-off between accuracy and training time. Using clips with smaller spatial or temporal dimensions allows us to use a larger batch size so we can train more efficiently. However, the accuracy of the resulting model is often lower. If we use larger clips, the accuracy of the resulting model could be higher, but training is slower. How do we avoid this trade-off and train accurate video models efficiently? Our idea is very simple. Instead of choosing between larger clips and smaller clips, why don't we just use both of them and achieve the best of both worlds? Specifically, we propose to use variable clip sizes during training, and we design schedules to flexibly use all these clips. For example, we may start training with smaller clips with a large batch size to train efficiently. And only when it gets closer to convergence, we gradually move towards larger clips to obtain an accurate video model that works well on large clips. We show that what the model learns from smaller clips transfers well to larger clips, so we can obtain an accurate video model with a reduced computational cost. We call our method multigrid training because we can view this process as sampling raw visual signals with different sampling grids. We took inspiration from multigrid methods for numerical analysis. Those methods leverage solving a coarse problem to speed up solving the full problem, analogous to how we use smaller clips to speed up training an accurate video model. Here we compare our multigrid training with the standard practice in terms of their batch sizes. The baseline method uses a fixed batch size during training. Multigrid training, on the other hand, uses a larger batch size when it trains on a smaller clip. Know that the effect of this simple change could be large. In this example, the average batch size is almost four times larger, meaning that training can process a fixed number of epochs almost four times faster. Of course, this is just one instantiation of our multigrid method, we may, for example, use a different set of spatial or temporal sizes during training, or design a different schedule for using these shapes. We study these design choices in our paper. Next, we quantitatively evaluate these methods. The point on this figure shows the accuracy and training time of a baseline method, which uses a fixed patch shape throughout training. It converges in about 21 hours. If we train this model for different numbers of epochs, we obtain the following trade-off. If we train with multigrid training, we obtain almost five times speed up with an even improved accuracy. The accuracy improvement might come from the additional data augmentation that comes naturally with multigrid training. Our method works out of the box for a wide range of settings, including three different datasets with multiple models and their variants and with a wide range of settings from single GPU to 128 GPU distributed training. We emphasize that we directly apply our method on each of these cases without further tuning, and we observe consistent speed up. Our code is available online. Thank you.